He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings and counted nine different kings. Oh, I hate ticking clocks. They're just annoying. To my most trust. Actually, we've done too much of the boss room. To my most trusted student and friend, John. That's still bloody posh. Okay, fine. And friend, John and Weir. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I found one of the orbs. I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Halo Dumas described in the Hortus Conclave. It was as it was told about an underground myth like temple crowned with the, an earthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cub's hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Hey, yeah, watched Wild Witch. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Ostrad. That's in Germany, by the way. Investigating one of the antiquated trails, when I finally found a coffin, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it's also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight those instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled up to the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed. But unfortunately, they remained as I continued my escape, while I, when I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Oh, fucking hell. How much did I write down? Okay, one more page. Black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water, I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave to the rising wind and rained on me. Bloody Britain, whoever. Actually, no, I'm in Germany, a scratch out. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly most sound strange. But I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I have feared its return. cry <laughs> I heard in the forest. It had been nearly a decade since I today, and I still haven't been able to write about the instant. The time last we spoke. You told me about your interest and your ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Ostrad. Your friend and mentor, Henry Cornelius Agrippa. So that was to um, Hector. Hector, I think that's his name. Pretty sure. My memory's a bit shit. Um. Oh, a slight headache, really. Why have you got that? It's fucking light in here, you idiot. Okay, this trailer. 
Ooh, this looks interesting. Let's see what you have to offer. Oh, God. <clears throat> It. It's definitely there. What is? What's definitely there? Really? Gonna leave me hanging? Oh shit, that was a dog's head. Holy shit. He was cutting up dogs? What a twat. Cut this! Use a bow. Ah, oh, my hand! I put it on this razor blade pit. What the fuck? That no. bit again looks evil as fuck. <laughs> Look, I can make the dog chase the rabbit. Ruff, ruff. Okay, done. Um. Ooh, hello. What's this? No. Oh. Just a dead bird. Bollocks. I thought it was something rather shit. Um. Holy shit. Why? Why? Just why? The can. The canine jaw. Why were you looking at the canine jaws? And then why were you cutting them girls? So, you know what a dog and a, the difference between a dog and a woman is, right? Dog. Human, but it looks like that's a guy. Um, so not a girl. Oh, we should have put it against that. See if we could ruin the painting. <laughs> You're painting shit. Oh dear. What's our sanity like? Yep, that fucked up our sanity. My name is Fred. Hello. How would you like to be your friend? No. Just, just now, Mr. Skeleton Head. Oh, something I want to say. I got really pissed off the other day. They're re they're bringing out the sequel to that fucking Alice in Wonderland thing with bloody oh, Johnny Depp. Ugh, that film. Further disappointment. The hunt sequence. Last it latest findings. Yielding nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life in its relation to the power I sense with it. I should pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain, since no research has been made in my particular interest. I must attempt to fill this void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I, was, I hope animals will sacrifice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. <laughs> oh. I do have a good laugh, so do. What the fuck? What happened to that? Was that the orb thing? Sounds like a person. That's probably a person. Um. Just don't know what that is. Are you the creepy fucker? You look like a creepy fucker. If you're not, I apologise, but you may have been dropped as a child. Ooh, hello. More anatomy. No, I want that all to open. No, not notes, mementos. Find out very in around a rebel in the study. <laughs> okay, 
that's better. Uh, oh. Almost got it. That's indestructible, that's indestructible, that's indestructible, uh, that's indestructible, god damn it. the fuck out of here. Back hole. No, don't want to get back yet. Um. Mm. Someone's coming. Oh, fuck off. I don't want anyone to come. Ah -ha. Why can I hide in here? Nowhere. Shit. Where is it coming from? Okay, there's no way out of this bit. So, let's find somewhere to hide. I don't know where to hide. There doesn't seem to be anywhere to hide. Find a chair, maybe? And then there, and then. You don't fear to be coming in here? Are you coming in here? Okay, not that way. Oh, fuck off. Bloody saying you're getting a headache from this darkness. This is fine. Something tells me this is all I can get out of the study. Um, yeah, let's head back. take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. Well. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Down into the deeper depths of hell. I know it's locked. Oh, right. Okay. We will do that. But first, let's just check that we can't do anything first. It's not working. Right, I thought it wouldn't be. So we get the key. And. Alacudria! So William Smith has been marked. There was no way to know, for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. All right, 
everything's gonna be fucking after us now. Because we're definitely like in the next bit. Um In actual fact Let me just check something. Hello and welcome back to Amnesia. Um so last time we just unlocked the machine room and we've gotta go get the elevator to work. Fifth of July, eighteen thirty nine. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. There's nothing left. Everything is gone. Can you shut up so I can read this next note? Cheers. Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Please no. Please no. Oh no. I don't want to go back. All the fucking way back. Oh great, that's our No oh, wait, we've got another thing to fill up actually. Oh, we're not gonna do that yet. There's nothing for the burner to ignite. Okay. where we need to put the cogs. Cog wheel does not fit onto this Okay, but it fits onto that one. And there was another one in the other room. Somewhere. Can't remember exactly where. Oh, there's one. some tinder boxes. Glitched into here, perhaps. Oh no, I can get out, it's fine. Um, is there another plug in here yet? There. So, take that one back. Oh, back in. Take that one all the way back. Oh, that didn't help, really. Save time. There we go. Um, let's put this on the last piece. And now... Oh, okay. So, we need something to burn. Uh, what box do? Box with the fit. Um... Okay, so let's get this and let's shovel a bit of coal then. Perhaps. Take that piece actually. I hope it's coal, not bloody dung. The burner needs more coal. I 
a snap full of coal, so let's close that. Put the lever down. That's cooking away. Can that go now? No. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. What does this need? What do we need to do here? Fourteenth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Right, okay, that didn't really help. I gotta admit, I wasn't listening. Um, ooh, what? Okay, all these up. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, fuck off, puzzles. Pressure. Pressure. Pushing down on me. Pushing down on you. Pick up my shit. Right, I'm gonna try and figure this out and I'll be back once I have.
tried every fucking combination now. Oh, come on. Storage ago. That's not the right thing. That can be shut. Down. Let's go to the back hall. Oh, I really don't want to. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming him. The machine cabinet has been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. be asked to look up where fucking rods are. Come on. Don't be a twat. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, here we go again. Why is this not the fucking place I can go? Sake. New 
this machine drove here. Turn you this way this way. Fine. Use our map. Spooky or scary or whatever you want to call it, not bloody look for. Yeah. This isn't looking simulator, god damn it. Yeah. 